Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a review of the QJ Megaminx version 2. I've had this puzzle for about 3 months now and I really like it. It's a pretty nice puzzle and in this video I'll be going over all the different aspects of this puzzle. So, the size of this puzzle from what I know is the same size as a regular Megaminx. I have a QJ Megaminx version 1 to compare it to. And they are pretty much the same size, however the tiled one does look bigger because obviously the tiles stick up a lot more than stickers do. For people that don't have a Megaminx, compared to a regular 3x3, the Megaminx is quite a bit taller and it is also a lot wider. The stickers on this puzzle are really nice. The cube is a dodecahedron. So it has 12 faces and therefore 12 different shades. The colour scheme on this puzzle is really nice. The opposite sides are different shades of the same colour. So opposite white, we have this kind of grey colour. Opposite dark green, we have this kind of lime green. Opposite sky blue, we have this kind of dark blue. So you kind of get the idea. I really like the stickers on this puzzle. If I look at the tiled Megaminx, as you can see the colour scheme is a bit different and uh, it has some really horrible brown colour on it and uh, the colours on this tiled one aren't that nice and that's why I didn't really like solving this puzzle. So I really like the stickers on the version 2 Megaminx. The stickers are really high quality. Uh, I've never had a peel, chip, and the colours don't seem to be fading at all, so I'm really impressed with the quality of the stickers and the colour scheme of this puzzle. The puzzle looks really nice. So, onto the turning of this puzzle. The puzzle turns really nice. Out of the box, this puzzle turned pretty well, but it felt quite dry, so I have lubricated this puzzle and broken it in quite a bit. It turns really smooth and fast, and the layers slide pretty easily. However, you can feel some friction in the pieces, so you do need to do quite hard turns to get the layers to move. But the layers are still really smooth, and it does have a really nice feeling to it. The puzzle can lock up quite a bit if you do inaccurate turns, for example. And uh, when you under or overshoot the puzzle and try and do a cut on it that the cube can't do, the cube will lock up and it will make it harder to solve. I only really get problems with lockups uh, from inaccurate turns when I'm speed solving and I'm trying to force layers that obviously can't turn. So when I'm just practicing normally, I don't really have any problems with lockups. Overall, it is a pretty nice puzzle for turning, and I don't really have many problems. The puzzle doesn't tend to pop, however it has popped on me before, but really it's not that much of a problem, as it does only pop when the puzzle is forced to do a turn. Uh, I did get a pop when I was speed cubing, but that was only because I was forcing a layer that obviously couldn't make the turn. The puzzle can corner cut pretty well. It can cut over half a cubie, but not quite a whole cube, which is quite good considering how many faces the puzzle has. When you try to force the puzzle over one cube, this can cause the puzzle to pop. However, it does only pop rarely, and normally only when I'm speed solving, and I tend to force the cube a bit more. The cube can't reverse cut at all, and I think this is what causes most of the lockups on this puzzle. I think it's kind of bad about this puzzle and it does let it down because it does lock up a considerable amount when I'm speed solving. But if I was to do more accurate turns, this puzzle would turn much better and it wouldn't lock up half as much. So overall, this is a great puzzle and definitely an improvement on the QJ Megaminx version 1. Since I got this puzzle, I have got into Megaminx and I now solve it quite a lot. The puzzle isn't very expensive, I think it is only about $10, so it is very reasonably priced, and I would recommend this puzzle. It's a good puzzle for speed cubing and just solving, and also good for a collection, so if you don't already have a Megaminx, you should get this puzzle. Anyway guys, this has been a review of the QJ Megaminx version 2, thank you for watching.